He was compelled. <laughs> Creative energy wants to come out this way, this way, this way, this way. He lived an extraordinary life, a dramatic series of journeys filled with a passion for experiencing nature through his process of art making. For Walter Anderson, to understand the artwork and to appreciate the artwork, you have to know the person too. No, he really was a genius. Well, what's that book? Oh, The Giants in the Earth. My father was one of the giants. He really was. I knew that Daddy was not conforming to anybody's expectations by living under a boat on Horn Island or riding his bicycle around all over the country. The entire trip across China was on foot and, of course, had very many adventures. There was a hurricane and he went out to Horn Island fastened himself up to a pine tree. That giant, you see, in all the books, couldn't possibly have existed if Walter Anderson hadn't been allowed to be himself, his whole self. He made the world a more beautiful place. I, I think that he went a little bit uh, over the edge a couple of times, but he kept getting the work done, you know. He kept going out to Horn Island and, and laying under that boat and fighting those mosquitoes and uh, making those watercolors. Most of his work was unseen until after his death. Oh my God. These paintings are amazing.